has taken two tough stands, the border wall and climate change. Today, Pima County supervisors officially took a stand against him over the objections of two of the soups. Craig Smith reports. It has been a mighty hot day, luckily. The Pima County supervisors had a nice air-conditioned boardroom for their own heated debate on not just the border wall, but climate change. The supervisors took on two hot issues for President Trump, his commitment to build a border wall and his decision to pull out of the Paris Accords to fight climate change. Most of the public speakers focused on climate change. A few added that a bigger wall would disrupt the desert environment and disrupt positive cultural and business relations with Mexico. The supervisors considered two resolutions. One says Pima County will live up to climate change efforts outlined in those Paris Accords. The other condemns the president's order to build the wall as a destructive waste of time and money. Supervisor Ali Miller called for better legal immigration policy, but says an improved wall will protect against drugs and terrorism. Supervisor Steve Christie says the resolutions are distractions from county business that have no legal weight. Can you just envision that in Washington somebody's pounding on President Trump's gold-plated bathroom door, pounding, President Trump, President Trump, we've got to stop the wall. The Pima County Board of Supervisors just passed a resolution against it. What are we going to do? But Supervisor Richard Elias says citizen concerns and Pima County's long border with Mexico do make the issues county business. And the people in the borderlands deserve to have a voice about what is happening around us and what is happening socially and economically and ecologically with the people who live here in the borderlands. Both resolutions passed three to two with the board's three Democrats outvoting the Republicans. Craig Smith, KGUN 9 on your side. And do you think the border wall should be built? We would like to hear from you on this topic. Join the conversation on our KGUN 9 Facebook page. 